Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at simplifying expressions with the distributive property. We're going to answer the question, how do I simplify expressions involving the distributive property? So as you probably know, the distributive property is anything that involves parentheses in a mathematical expression. So with the distributive property, we can multiply numbers inside the parentheses by the number outside the parentheses. And whenever you're using the distributive property, you want to make sure that you are paying close attention when you're multiplying negative numbers. So let's look at this first one, no negative. So we just need to worry about the multiplying. The three outside means I'm multiplying each thing inside the parentheses by three. So three times nine X is 27 X. And then three times 14 is 42. And that would be the final simplified expression since those are not like terms. All right, same thing on this next one. I'm gonna distribute the 2.5 to everything inside the parentheses. So 2.5 times four X is 10 X and 2.5 times negative two is negative five because positive times negative is a negative. Next one, negative 12 times 1 half x would be negative 6x, and then negative 12 times negative 9, that's going to be a positive since a negative times a negative is a positive, and then 12 times 9 is 108. So negative 6 plus 108. Negative 6x plus 108 would be your final answer. All right, number four, it looks a little bit different because the four is behind the parentheses instead of in front of it, but we still have this four attached to the parentheses. So it still just means I'm multiplying. So I'm gonna do four times negative x, which is negative four x, and then four times 1.2, I'm gonna double check this, is 4.8. So it's gonna be negative four x plus 4.8 for the final answer here. All right, let's look at number five. Negative three-fifths times 10. Negative three-fifths times negative 10. Three over five times 10 over one would be 30 over five, and 30 divided by five is six. And it's a negative times a negative, so it's positive. And then three-fifths, negative three-fifths times negative 25x, I'm gonna use the calculator this time for those numbers. 3 fifths times 25 is 15, and a negative times a negative is a positive, so that becomes positive 15x. And then for my final answer, I'm just going to put the x term in front, make this 15x plus 6, just a little more proper to put the variable first. All right, number six says, write the perimeter of the triangle as a simplified expression. So I can tell by these lines that this is an equilateral triangle. So I have three sides that are all 1.5x minus two in length. So I can write the expression three parentheses, 1.5x minus two, to represent the perimeter. Now I can simplify this by distributing. So three times 1.5x is 4.5x, and then three times negative two is negative six. So the final simplified expression for the perimeter is 4.5x minus six. Okay, so that was just the distributive property, but we don't always just have the distributive property in our expressions. To simplify expressions, we will use the distributive property first if there are parentheses, and we will only multiply the numbers that are inside the parentheses, and then we'll just rewrite the other terms that are outside the parentheses. We won't distribute to those. And then after that, we can combine like terms to simplify the remaining expression. So let's look at number seven. I am only going to distribute the six to what's inside the parentheses, and then I'm just going to rewrite this two x minus three. So six times x is six x, six times negative four is negative 24, and then I'm just gonna rewrite the two x minus three. And now this is just a combining like terms problem. Six x plus two x is eight x, 
And then negative 24 minus 3 is negative 27. So the final simplified expression here is 8x minus 27. All right, let's look at number 8. This 12 is not a part of the distributive property since it is separated by this addition sign. I'm just going to distribute the 2 fifths. So let's bring down the 12 and then 2 fifths times 6 would be 12 fifths x. And then 2 fifths times negative 15, that would be negative 30 over 5, which simplifies to negative 6. So I have 12 plus 12 fifths x minus 6. And I can just combine the constants here. So my final answer is 12 fifths x and then 12 minus 6 is positive 6. Okay, number 9. I have negative 2 thirds minus parentheses 9.1x plus 1 minus 3.5x. So there is an invisible 1 right here. You can think of this as distributing a negative 1. This negative 2.3 is not what's going to be distributed since it's separated by the subtraction sign here. So I'm just going to bring down the negative 2.3 and then negative 1 times 9.1x is going to be negative 9.1x and negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. And then I'm just going to bring down the negative 3.5x because that was not a part of the distributing. Okay, now I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 2.3 will combine with the other constant negative 1 to make negative 3.3. And then negative 9.1x minus 3.5x. I'm going to use the calculator to make sure I do that correctly. Negative 9.1 minus 3.5 is negative 12.6. So that becomes negative 12.6x. And then I'm just going to rewrite this with the x term. First, make it a little more proper. And number 10, I have two sets of distributive property. We're just going to distribute the number that's directly in front of the parentheses to what's inside the parentheses. So that means I'm going to bring down the 3. And then I'll do negative 2 times x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then in this second set of parentheses, I'm going to distribute 1 fourth. So 1 fourth times 12x is 3x. And 1 fourth times negative 6 is negative 3 halves or negative 1.5. Okay, now I just need to combine like terms. I'm going to start with the x's this time. Negative 2x plus 3x is just going to be x. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. And then 1 minus 1.5 would be negative 0.5 or negative 1 half. So x minus 1 half is our final answer there.